na o city zero plus four meaning this is the article one of the 1987 constitution uh canton i possess the territorial rights and jurisdiction this is the hereditary successor in interest of article one of the 1987 constitution originally the 1935 constitution article one which is the treaty of peace now the kasi ang holder ang possessor of the oct 01-4 under civil case 3957p Torrens title it is my duty and it is my right to grant everyone who wants to build their own community or anyone that needs help that has been uh, abused by the system realize this Anton, that the sovereign real constitution Sa buong bansa is already incorporated under federalism. Now, ang municipality of San Mateo actually had given us the acknowledgement, ina-acknowledge nila ang ating self-governance, self-determination because this is actually required by law. LG. That they have to respect, protect, and enforce the local government unit under EPRA 8371, the tribal barangay. So these are all tribal barangay. These are legitimate grassroots, ground zero in that community. So I guess the the uh, the community uh, barangay. The Barangay Municipality have been threatened on our flag. Ito, itong bandilang ito, ito yung fulfillment of God's promise. Under Article 16, Section 2, in the General Provision of 1987 Constitution, it is, you cannot be a government, you cannot be a sovereignty declaring sovereign government, you cannot do that if you don't have a banner, a flag. Because the, because the flag is the symbol of our culture, tradition, language, and our race, that we are in fact, indeed, God's chosen people. And if you want to see the, the banner we have, the flag, it has the sun, and we have a crescent, and the crescent the moon and the star this is the symbol of the promise that our muslim brothers from okay from abraham's descendant ismael the, the son of god is part of the promise and that is the symbol of our banner then it has 12 stars which represents the 12 sons of jacob and now it can also represent the 12 private regions in our country. And the 13th is the autonomous region, which is the Zulu and came from. We, because our descendant came from Raha, uh, Ra, King of Song, Raha Lapulapu. That is where my descendant, descendant is coming from on the native, on, on, uh, as native of this land. Now, uh, this is actually a very symbolic, and our flag is the symbol of the fulfillment of the mission and vision of the corporate republic, is to seek sovereignty. So that flag itself is the fulfillment, and of course, with the barangay incorporated, and the city municipal of San Mateo is a non-existing city barangay because that is actually well, NGO. Of course, they are being threatened. And they have just, they have just committed actually treason. That is absolutely against private property rights. So uh, 
if they said that they will file a case about the flag, then I would be more than happy and willing. In fact, they filed a case under uh, Regular General Pagapos, who is the, the chief team. He is actually the tribal chief team in that community that will rise very shortly. So, rising the private, you know, fighting against the private property rights is a rebellion. That is sedation against the community of San Mateo, province of Rizal, whereby Rizal itself is already has lost its case. They lost its case under CAJRSP 70014, whereby Bulacan and Rizal province try to fight that land, which is, that is the TCT 408498, which has been consolidated already under single case 997 in 1903 consolidated to civil case 3957p that is the OCT 01 the OCT 01 the score before the, the 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 LRA 496 act has been okay. has started yun po ang katotohanan diyan yes hmm. so ano po nangyari no nung uh, kayo ay kumara at uh, Ipinaglaban po ninyo ang inyong katwiran. Ano po ang nangyari? Ano po ang naging... Wala ang nangyari. Actually, we already... Nangyari, sakot ang misip ng, ng pamahalaan San Mateo. Ng San Mateo. Ano po ang naging tugun nila dun sa inyo po ng uh, bilang pag, pag-suporta sa inyong kumita doon? Ano po ang nangyari? Wala pa po ang nangyari except we went to ombudsman. Pumunta po ako sa ombudsman. And we tried to file a case against the community, the, the uh, municipality of San Mateo. So, iyan po mm -hmm. ang pinuntahan namin. We went to Ombudsman to file a case against San Mateo municipality or San Mateo city. Yun ang ginawa namin. So, that is still under the table. I mean, make it. So, uh, absolutely, they will lose the case because the case would be the sovereign republic of the Philippines on the tribal barangay in San Mateo province versus the corporate municipality of San Mateo. So that is uh, a no-win situation. They lose and yeah. that is already... Ano na yan eh? Kasalanan nila yan. This yeah, and uh, yung mga ganyang strategy, yung mga ganyang style, particular kapag ang isang tao ay nasa military, yun ba, na colonel, general, gagamitin nyo yan ng mga tao dun sa community, bilang packer. Yeah, kapag, pero... Kapag yan, ng general na yan, dahil siya yung pati armas, ah, gini na nila yung lupa, kakam kami na nila yung lupa. Ah, totoo ko yan, nangyayari ko yan, alam ko may mga ganyang instances na kapag Ang isang property ay wala nagmamayari. Magmagunahan yung mga nandiyan katirata, kukuha ng bakit na general, at magunahan ng nila yung kanilang partiyan. So, rampang po yan. Alam mo kung bakit yan? Alam mo kung bakit yan? Dahil yan sa PD 772 Squatting Syndicate. Sa Squatting hmm. Syndicate, under civil case 3957P, the number one squatter on the syndicate is actually the corporate republic of the Philippines itself, especially all these uh, corporate um, urban housing, house, uh, like Mani Villar, for instance, they are all number one land grabbers and the Spanish mestizos, they are the one that land grabbers. So in reality, there's only one owner of the land. That is Article 1. A hereditary successor in interest of the patrimony of the nation, iyan po ang ibig sabihin ng patrimony of the nation, is actually the ancestral land. And cannot be divided, cannot be sold, cannot be hypothecated, and it can be granted. I am the only one who has the right and authority to grant, to sell, or to lease whatsoever, and that is in accordance with the law. 
And mind you, meron na po yung entry judgment and resolution. And the entry judgment from the Supreme Court under the petition of the Republic of the Philippines Corporation and it asks, and who are these it asks? The rest of the world. Because the OCT 01-4 under 1935 Constitution, the Treaty of Paris, is global po yan, uh, Canton, global yan. Kaya ang lalabas ngayon, we are under... Uh, in the the revolutionary movement of the global government, and that's one reason why there is a global collapse in in uh, in economy, global collapse in currency, uh, devaluation, collapse, and all that. That is because of what is happening. There has to be a one world government. In the one world government, you can never be a government if you have no territory. You have to have territorial rights and jurisdiction of the OCT 01 because the OCT 01, this is the entire archipelago, Lupang Hinira, Ang Inang Bayan. We are God's chosen, we are God's special people. And then the 04 is the four corners of the world. That is the at world atlas. Ma. Uh, pwede po bang gamitin yung uh, magpatakob sa inyong Pilipina Hacienda ang isang community na threatened, halimbawa yung, yung uh, mga isang mga dwellers o mga informal dwellers uh, by you know, 100 families and then they're being threatened dahil nga sa wala silang titulo. Pwede po bang gamitin yung Kingdom Pilipina Hacienda, magpatakob sila doon at nasa ganun eh, magkaroon sila ng tagapagtanggol na tulad po ng PFH? Yes. Let me explain. Yes, let me explain, Canton, para malaman ng ating audience. Kingdom Filipina Hacienda is the host of all nations. Because I am the host of all nations because we own the land of United States of America, China, India, the whole world is all canceled on all government. Because you cannot be a government without territory. So now it goes like this. Kingdom Filipina Hacienda, since I own the entire uh, patrimony of the nation, that's ancestral land, OCT 01 does for, uh, what have I declared the sovereign republic of the Philippines? There is no more cha cha, there is no more federal. Everything what the corporate republic is doing is actually against the sovereignty against the sovereign nation. So being the holder, I declare and I promulgate the sovereign republic of the Philippines, whereby region 10 is the only region, region 10 is the land of the mother province. That is in article 18, section nine. And your question was, kaya ko ba magbigay ng mga informer informer settlers yes opo ay uh, may mga informal settlers and then gusto nila magpasakop sa PFH makakaasir ba sila na ipagtatanggol ng PFH yung kanilang karapatan alam mo na, alam ang, ano niyan uh, kaanton meron kasi kaming amin ah uh, Ako, may sumasubaybay lang po ako sa utos ng Diyos. Meron po kaming protocol. Ang protocol namin po ay ganito. Right now, since we have, we are under the transition government, transition is that meron right now parang dalawa ang gobyerno. One is the shadow government. The shadow government is the corporate republic of the Philippines that is now employed and now are trying, are acting to become a federal, federal and NGO, non-government. And they have no authority on the private property rights. They have no authority over land. Now, our Kingdom Filipina Hacienda, the declared sovereign republic of the Philippines, kami po ang nag-promulgate some 1987 constitution as a sovereign government, fulfilling the mission and vision of the Republic. Now, clear how it goes. We have, because there is always a center point of, under the creation of the new barangay. So the rule of creation of new barangay under Republic Act 7160, 
Dito ngayon sa Palao Barangay Unit is the center of all government of all barangay. So dito nag-umpisa ngayon. Kaya ang, ang, ang objective talaga ng Kingdom Filipina Asyenda that under the rule of law and Republic Act 716 of oh, Section 384, one person, one instrument for the constituency of all. Ito ngayon na na-declare na ako, I am now a government, I, I now rule the sovereign republic of the Philippines. Okay. So dahil Only dito, that. kailangan that. po natin ng ID. Uh, Nintun muna tayo dyan. Opo. Mr. Stante, na meron na kayong sovereign government, meron tayong sovereign government, dyan sa Grand Zero, dyan sa Palau, Palau, uh, Palau, Ilan. Palau, ano Palau, ano, 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 Palau, ano naman ang dispansan ng gobyerno, ng korte, hindi ko lang pa nagre-reklamo na ito baka sabihin na ito yung usurpation of government authority, hindi naman na, na, hindi pa ko nakaka-encounter ng ganong mga hindi uh, naman po. Alingasya. Actually, what I did is there is nothing I do that the local government in my city at the same time in the office of the president, the Supreme Court, all high and low agencies are well informed. Acknowledgement by that one. Because I declare, I declare self-governance, self-determination, Section 13, last March 23, 2008. So I have that acceptance, recognition, and accreditation as a government. So, and, uh, and due to this, uh, of course, there is a resistance. I don't, I'm not no. saying there is no resistance. There is a resistance, but they have no right under law to file suit or uh, file case against me. That is provided pursuant to Article 16, Section 3, that there is no one that I'll keep against sovereignty. May ari po tayo sa lupa. Bakit nila tayo kakasuhan? Sila corporate. Wala po silang lupa. They lost territorial jurisdiction. So what is the right to file a case against the owner of the land? Now, talk to me po. Paano yan? And then, also in Article on, on, on FRT 371, Section 17, uh, that they have no right to a case against the owner of the land. So, sa mga pwede, eh, sa, sa mga, uh, uh, kumbaga yung mga flows, yung mga kakulangan. Kasi yes. Kakulangan sa mga sabakas na pwede ko itong uh, magsilbing aligi ng Kingdom of Shenda Pilipina Amen. para may usad ang kanyang uh, uh, karapatan. Karapatan ng sobirenya na ang yes. ano po.